Pedro, thanks very much for joining us. What have you been seeing in terms of capital flows and, uh, and I suppose, investor interest, um, particularly into the real estate sector? We are managing the biggest open fund in Portugal. That said, it's an open fund with the daily uh, liquidation of, of us, so we can have on a daily basis subscriptions and redemptions. Uh, the fund is sold in being nowadays with 25,000 unit holders, so mainly small savings in one of the biggest retail banks. And to be honest, we suffered a little bit when it was the first lockdown. On a daily basis, we saw the increasing of redemptions and the decreasing of subscriptions. But if you look into a weekly basis, we saw starting from the beginning, uh, slowly by slowly, the redemption slowing down and subscription going up. We close 2019 with 763 million euros and we close 2020 with 835. So we grow 72 million euros net, which is 9% which I would say for a, a, an open fund is not that bad. Of course, it was the year where we, we grow less, but still, I would say 9% is quite good. And we close February already with 850, which means that we grow already 15 million, which is 2% on an absolute basis. Of course, this is to say the fund closed 2020 with 3.62% grow net, comparing to fixed term deposits and even some bonds fund, it, it's quite attractive in the sense that the other funds and, and the other products are near zero. So they subscribe because the return is good. Also in 2020, we launched a second fund uh, sold in an internet bank that is Bank Best, and that fund that started in the end of August closed December with 10 million euros. And that is very important in the sense that it's a fund without track record and it's much more difficult to, to sell. And so that was much above our expectations. So depending on, on of course, you look for the, the glass half empty or half uh, full, but it was a very good year. And obviously, you've got to put that capital to work, Pedro. Um, so where are you seeing the opportunities at the moment in the Portuguese market? Well, this fund is very diversified. And so we try to diversify over all sectors. So for you to have an idea, during 2020, we bought a shopping center. And then after, we bought one office uh, center, one logistics center, and one assisted living center. So in fact, is, the idea is to, again, is quality of tenants, so tenant covenant risk has to be very good, long-term contracts, and of course, then after, price per square meter, yields, locations, etc. Of course, nowadays, I would say that if you want to buy uh, core, core plus assets, probably the, the best opportunities would, would be in offices and logistics, while on the other hand, if you want to buy on a more value-add opportunistic way, probably the more the, the best opportunities would be on the hotels and other tourist connected assets like um, high street retail on the best uh, uh, locations connected to tourism because they are closed today and probably you have tenants don't paying rent and some uh, landlords with some problems or even with the loans toward the banks and so i think there are going to be some transactions on on that area Pedro, great to catch up as ever. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much.